What is up you guys, it's Bolty98, and in this video we're going to be talking about aftermarket parts, Intel drop, Call of Duty, Modern Warfare 3. So we have a new Intel drop from Modern Warfare 3, including aftermarket parts. Let's go ahead and react to this trailer. Modern Warfare 3, we've added a new way to customize your weapons, aftermarket parts. Aftermarket parts are a new option within Gunsmith. A way for players to come back to a weapon that they may have already mastered or played out, and it's going to give them... So it looks like the Renetti's back. It looks like we're going to be getting the same sort of customization screen here. It looks like we have, you see the conversion kit in the bottom right is where the aftermarket stuff's going to happen. But then we also have weapon progression, Renetti, here above the rounds and reserve and stuff. Um, you can see that pretty much the whole screen here looks the exact same way it did in Modern Warfare 2, which isn't a bummer because I actually liked how it looked in Modern Warfare 2. It just it sucks because you want to see less of a copy and paste style. You want to see more of its own, but it looks like this was kind of just copied and pasted with the new guns. It does say build a weapon and customize on the right, so we are getting customization, which was already a known fact, but it's confirmed. Okay, and then uh, handgun Renetti level 1 of 20, so they did bring back the levels and everything. The same way of Modern Warfare 2 it looks like, but let's go ahead and see what the conversion kits have to offer. Dimension to interact with the gun in a way the regular attachments wow. can't. Think of them as remixes for the guns. Really the easiest way to say it is they're nearly a new gun. They are powerful, meaningful changes to these weapons. Caliber, the way that they fire, both rate of fire as well as potentially the fire type. I meant to pause it on that MP7 looking gun. It looks like they just completely transformed the Renetti into an MP7. So that's kind of weird. I don't know if I'm too into that. But this is an LMG we're going to be getting. The Pool Mayat 762 it has a base model. And then we're, of course, about to look at the aftermarket parts. Now we have one of our heaviest light machine guns in the game have a conversion kit that turns it into a bullpup, which greatly shortens the configuration of the gun and makes it so that you can really run and gun with it. You can spray from the hip, you can sprint out way faster than you could with this much longer, heavier version of the weapon. Okay, okay guys, hold on. This guy right here just said we are going to be able to take an LMG and make it an AR bullpup rifle, meaning the damage an LMG does that makes it worth using an LMG, makes it worth being slow, they are going to take that away and make it fast so you're going to have LMG damage coming out of a AR type gun, if that makes sense. So that's a little weird. Um, of course, they probably tuned it to be like less damage with it. So it's basically just going to help you do your challenges a little bit easier if they even allow you to use conversion kits to do your challenge. It seems like it's basically for you to do challenges with like you were going to use these conversion kits to get long shots or for the the uh, LMG you're going to use it to get your hip fire kills and run around the map and do your challenges differently it doesn't seem like this is going to actually give you any sort of competitive edge it's just simply to help you do your challenges from what I'm able to tell through what they're saying. Now, if you guys have a different take on it, please let me know, but I'm going to continue from here. It just seems like we are going to be able to turn guns into other guns, but I don't think that they're going to allow you to run AR style with an LMG damaged gun. I think it's obviously going to take docks on the damage, and we will be looking at just an AR under the name of an LMG. So you'll be able to do like hit fire kills and, long, and you know, uh, double kills, rapid kills, whatever they are, quicker because of the fact that you can add a conversion to make it basically an AR, but it will hurt the damage so you're not doing one shot, one kill with LMGs running around like they're ARs. Okay, I don't think they're gonna do that, but we'll continue with the video. Aspire to just be fun. We want some of them to be just absolute oddballs that players- Okay, so we do have some oddball ones, but look at this. So the pro, you get a Kimbo, the cons. Uh, moves, strafe, and sprint speed go down, which is weird. Bullet velocity and range, sprint to fire speed, and damage range all go down, which is weird because it says the camo damage goes up, but I'm assuming that's because you have two guns now. But this gun does look really, really cool, and I like how they do with the akimbo or the conversions or like that white look that looks super cool. Also, this is called the WSP Akimbo Brace Stock. So the gun is called the WSP. It is an embrace. Oh no, arm brace. 
stock attachment that allows for this weapon to be fired at Kimbo style. And this one has a level 1 of 29, so this is going to be 29 levels. And if you look here, it, right under an arm brace stock, uh, aftermarket parts on that left side has a little emblem. So maybe that will help you tell if like a bundle in the shop is using aftermarket parts or not and then if you buy that do you they get then do you get to use that aftermarket part on the weapon or another weapon it looks like the akimbo see it says wsp akimbo brace stocks meaning it will only go with the wsp weapon so i don't think you'll be able to cross contaminate these aftermarket parts even though it would be cool to see i do think it's going to be based off that weapon you will not be able to put a kimbo style on like an lmg or even pistols without having that exact akimbo brace for those pistols so as much as it sucks to not see that much customization, I do get why they're probably doing it to avoid issues with the, like running akimbo LMGs, akimbo shotguns, and stuff like that. So I do understand that. Do I think that they could go about like just restricting that item on those guns? Yes, but I think that's why it makes them a little bit more money also because if you want that akimbo brace for the WSP and you don't unlock it, then you can go buy it. Or if you want akimbo brace for another weapon and you don't want to unlock it or you can't unlock it, it's hard to do, something like that, then of course you could just go buy it. So I see why they do it this way. Um, but let's listen to what they got to guard by and want to get in there for just the sheer spectacle of it. It's going to expand playstyles dramatically. We've put a lot into aftermarket parts and we are so excited for the community to get their hands on them. They've done a lot for this is pre-order and get your open beta early access one week based on estimated access, actual play time subject to possible outages and applicable time zone differences. So nothing new here in these, you know, bottom things. I was reading that out just to see if something new might pop out, but it doesn't seem like that way. We will be reacting tomorrow to the multiplayer review, but aftermarket parts are coming to Modern Warfare 3 and I don't know how to feel about it. Honestly, I don't think it's a huge difference, but I want to know what you guys think. If you guys think this is going to be a huge time change or game changer, let me know down below. Other than that, I will see you in the next video tomorrow when we make our reveal on the Modern Warfare 3 multiplayer reveal, which I think airs around 10 a.m. Eastern. So I hope to get that video up at least by 11 a.m., if not 11.30. I hope you guys stay tuned for more. Hit that sub button, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out. Thank you.